Hi guys, this is uh, Matt Z from the Matt Z Trading Show. Um, again, haven't seen you guys in a while, haven't done a video in a while, uh, been busy, but uh, today I wanted to talk about something really important. I always keep emphasizing the fact that you have to stay practical in your trading. It's extremely hard to do. It's, ex it's one of those things that people don't focus on. People focus on what's the best method, what's the best software, what's the best commission, what's the best broker. But they never think about the fact of, you know, of being practical approach to trading. Let me give you an example. I talk to a lot of people who say, I'm invested in my indicators. You know what it sounds to me? It sounds more like I'm addicted to my indicators. And when I ask them whether those indicators worked for them, 90% of the time I hear, not yet, I'm learning. And my question to them, so why are you sticking to things that don't give you progress? Sometimes they say things like, hey, I paid for them. Sometimes they say, I'm used to them. But this is what I'm talking about being practical. If you're stuck with something that doesn't work for you, who cares if you paid for it? It's irrelevant. It's preventing you from moving forward and progressing um, as a trader. What you have to do is really understand that over a lifetime of being a trader, you will make a lot of mistakes, not only trading mistakes, but you will make mistakes about buying certain software, getting going with the wrong platform that you might have paid for, or anything else. And at the end of the day, you really have to sit with yourself and say, what am I using that truly, truly helps me as a trader? And you will find that you can, at times, remove a lot of that stuff and stick to very basic stuff that does that. People have, I mean, I understand where it's coming from, where people don't want to change their ways. After you looked at one indicator for three years, even if it didn't bring you any type of success, at times you're just used to using it and in your own mind you just have to um, kind of find a way to work with this indicator better. So you start attributing to it success where you really shouldn't. But that's all on you. This is something that you created in your own head, uh, for lack of a better terms, and I apologize for that. So again, Let's get back to being practical. Let's get back to the stuff that really works. Let's get back to stuff that really helps you progress as a trader. And what I mean progress as a trader is things that make you evaluate the markets better. It's after all reflected in the success of your own account. So again, you know, look at what you have right now, okay? And be honest with yourself and you say, what platforms really help me progress? What software helps me progress? What have I bought in the, in the last three to five years that did not do anything for me and I'm just staring at it all day? It can be an indicator, it could be even a book, you know, or even a trading forum that you belong to. It could be um, a new subscription to some sort of a newsletter. Whatever you have there that did not help you progress forward, you know, eliminate it out of your trading. I can go on and on and on with stories of talking to traders that have two elements in their trading. Things that really work for them and things that don't work for them. But just because they paid for the things that don't work for them, they try and force uh, value into that. Although in real life, there is no value over there. So again, just be fair to yourself because at the end of the day, you spend a lot of time in front of the monitor. You spend a lot of time in analyzing the markets and you wanna make your time very, very useful. I hope it helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.